what's up guys I'm here again for another video for a recipe that we're doing or that I'm doing today uh, it's gonna be a quinoa fried rice uh, it's really amazing tasting trust me like after you see this like it's full of flavor everything like it's a quick meal 10 15 minutes like uh, and then it's done so yeah, I'm about to show you guys the recipe now. We'll start with the quinoa, and then after showing you the quinoa, I kind of already have it started. So I'll show you that first, and we'll just, afterwards, I'll show you the veggies that I use, how many I cut up, what I use in it, and uh, how I add the, all the ingredients, obviously. So as you guys can see, I have the quinoa being made right now. Pretty much for the quinoa, um, I used, oh, I already threw away the bag. It was a small bag. I used about a cup or yeah about a cup or two in here and pretty much with quinoa I eyeball everything but you want to use about uh, one and a half to one and three fourth cups of water for every cup of quinoa and for what I've found it makes it perfect um, like I said I eyeball it so it, it comes out the same for me every time just because I'm so used to it but if you want it a little bit uh, more crunchy you would go about a cup and a half a cup and like uh, a quarter or something like that for every cup and if you want it a little bit fluffier and softer then go about a cup and three fourths but if you want it really soft then go two cups for every cup and I use about a teaspoon of sea salt or pink Himalayan sea salt in here and then about a teaspoon of turmeric or uh, I guess you could even go one and a half or two teaspoons uh, I just like it to be nice and orange just so that way we have that flavor on the quinoa and that'll take about really just five to ten minutes I mean quinoa takes really it's really quick to cook so this is probably one of the easiest parts I just get the veggies done while this is going okay this is what the quinoa looks when it's nice and done um, I hope you guys can really see the uh, texture of it because I mean the texture like the way the outside of the seed looks really shows uh, how soft it is and fluffy yeah so that's what it's gonna look like when it's done nice and orange and yellow okay guys so as you can see right here I have all the ingredients laid out so we have about six or about five sweet peppers so there's four yellow one red uh, those are just what was left really um, and then we have about five stalks of green onion um, and then about seven uh, little stems of some thyme uh, this is really gonna make a difference you guys will see in a second because there's some tomatoes I'll be adding they're just frozen right now uh, this makes a big dis uh, difference in the sauce that you put over the uh, quinoa so you want some some time uh, I have some rosemary as well I forgot to pull it out right now but I'll use about a half stock a stock of some rosemary and uh, it tastes great okay so this is all the veggies after they've been cut uh, I just added about a half stock of some rosemary uh, to all the time and then right here we have the cherry tomatoes that we use um, these are unorganic but uh, they're hothouse grown or greenhouse grown so there's no pesticides or anything used and uh, I looked up to like see how they take care of their plants and everything so these are quality uh, we just froze these uh, freezing tomatoes keeps them uh, fresh for a lot longer or keeps them good a lot longer so that's what we've been doing it works fine okay so right here we have all the seasonings we use we have some organic ginger clove coriander Himalayan sea salt cayenne and I use avocado oil in the pan to saute the onions and get everything nice and sauteed uh, I'm about to show you guys what the measurements look like for each of these. These right here are all the seasonings after I've measured them and put them in the, some little cups we have just to put them in. We have about a tablespoon and a fourth of some ground ginger, a half tablespoon of some uh, coriander, uh, one fourth of a tablespoon. I'm sorry I use tablespoons, guys. Um, I, I just that's just what I had. Fourth tablespoon of some. Um, of some ground clove have about a half or a fourth tablespoon of some Himalayan pink sea salt and a half tablespoon of ground cayenne 
Um, you guys can use a little bit less if you don't like spice. This is just because we like spiciness. I just put it into the uh, oil here. And if there's a little, you know, like if I feel like I need more, I'll add more. But I just add all this. I'll wait for the sea salt. I like to wait for that just for when I put the tomatoes in. And yeah, just turn that up to like probably a uh, three. And then uh, I'll stir in the seasonings and we'll add in the onions afterwards. I usually would go with about six stalks of onion. Uh, like I said though, this is uh, the last of what we had from last grocery shopping. So this is about five stalks. I do like to have a nice amount of onion inside of the uh, fried rice. Okay, so as you can see, I just added the peppers in. I'm letting it all saute together really nicely. I'll give it about a minute or two, two minutes. I only have it at about one and a half, one, two, I guess, whichever one uh, you guys want to consider it. But yeah, I'll just leave that there for about a minute, a minute or two, maybe even three. And then after that, I add all my tomatoes onto one side of the pan and I wait till those heat up and you'll see what I do with those soon. Okay guys, so you'll know when the cherry tomatoes are ready to pop. Uh, once they start to kind of wrinkle up like that, then like they're just really easy to pop. Like it takes no pressure and it'll just like uh, pop open and then you want to do that for each and every one of these. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like after you've popped every tomato. Uh, I turned it up to about a four, just so that way we can kind of get it to boil and then I'm going to turn it back down to a simmer. So from here we kind of want it to get to a nice boil, then we're going to turn it down so we could get a simmer. From four down to probably about a two really, and let it simmer for about 10-15 minutes, probably even 10. Um, and then you'll see that gradually it'll just keep thickening up uh, until it's a nice sauce and I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it's pretty much turning really thick. Uh, I'm just letting the edges kind of uh, thicken up a little bit more, but everything is really thick now. It's a nice sauce. Everybody in my house always says something about it, so it smells great. Uh, it's quick. It's quick to cook. Another thing is it's it's entirely an inexpense to make a meal like this. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and go like, oh, 20 cents for the tomatoes, this, this, this. But it's about, we spend about $25, $30 max a week on produce. Um, and then we spend about $18 on some quinoa. And, you know, that's on the high side for produce. Really, it's only $20, but I'm just saying 30 just in case. Uh, you know, because, like, we get herbs and stuff, but maybe, like, a seasoning that we ran out of. But, yep. So it's just very inexpensive to make, you know, it's quick, you know, if your family's hungry, you're hungry, you could just settle down 10 minutes and this meal's done. If I wasn't recording, it would literally be 10 minutes because I'd have this quinoa uh, being done while this sauce was thickening up and once it was all ready, then like I'd just throw it right in. Just like that, you know. That's like a nice uh, thickness. You can turn it up a little bit. Sorry, these neighbors' dogs just love to bark. And from there, we just pour it all onto the quinoa, stir it in. Okay, so this is the final product, guys. Uh, quinoa fried rice. Uh, this will either be part two or just part one if I don't upload the last one that we made. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like now. There's lots of tomato in it. I mean, you guys, once you guys try this, like, you'll, then you'll really know, <laughs> like, this is a staple, like, an entire staple meal for us. It's quick, and it literally tastes absolutely amazing. Normally, we'd have a little bit more quinoa, too, but we used the last of our package. Uh, I would appreciate if you guys left a comment, uh, subscribed, or liked the video, or shared it with other people that you know that are alkaline or just vegan, you know, and yeah. Thanks for watching the video. See ya.